Welcome folks to a video that has been in planning for many months. I just wanted to wait until my collection grew a little bit and also just spending the time to make this video and figuring how I actually want to do it. Now I don't have the best room, it's a very small room so I've had to think very cleverly of how to get everything inside this damn room and organise it and I'm constantly reorganising and at the moment I'm okay with the way things are laid out but it's not really a display, it's more or less just to keep everything in, in, in order and in storage. And I have a weird layout at the moment, like, I've got all my Masters of Cinema sitting down in Studio Ghibli and then I've got my favourite director, Kurosawa and Chaplin and stuff like that in certain little sections and I've got a 70 second behind me of DVDs, 70s DVDs and not Blu-rays. Um, like, it seems a little weird, my collection, then I've got the ordinary Blu-rays, A to Z, all the Steve books together and stuff like that, so I'll just kind of go through it with you. And I'm going to try and make this video as short as I can. I'm not going to sit and babble about every single film as much as I'd like to. But we'll be here all day. And you just don't want to be here all day. So this may be split up into to two videos. And we'll see whenever I go through it. And I'll split it perhaps at a 10 minute mark or something. And hopefully you get an idea of what my collection you like. You'll get to see my, my whole room. Full 3D view if you haven't seen it already. Not like it's very big anyway. I mean what you see is about 80% of the room already. <laughs> Except for the bed. Um, so yeah, let's dig in. I think we'll start on the DVDs and move on to the Blu-rays. And at the end, I'll give out the tallies of what's in my collection. So, let's get started, everyone. So I have the camera on a tripod, so when I want to return and talk to you in person, and get that same angle. But for now, you know, we're going to do this handheld. And I am using my camcorder because it's a lot more convenient uh, with the autofocus and everything. And it means every time I hold something up, you'll actually get to read the title. And it won't be a blur, which is the problem with the DSLRs because, you know, that's what they're made for, they're made for pictures. But anyway, let's dig in and we'll start with the DVDs. And the first thing you'll see on my DVDs. Okay, so starting with the DVDs then, we have the 70s movies, 70s collection, there's about 30 there. Um, the 70s is my favourite decade of cinema and I just so happen to own several, several uh, 70s releases. Now this is going to exclude some of the ones that are in the director's ones here. So let's have a look first at the, the 70s line here. Uh, we have got Ali Fury to Soul. It's not actually open, long story. But uh, I've seen this film twice and I absolutely love this. It's considered a remake or a retelling of some sort of um, All That Heaven Alive, a Hollywood film. Um, wonderful film from Germany. Uh, two of my favourite musicals are sitting here. All of that jazz, fantastic. I really want to watch that one again. Um, the same with Cabaret. Um, it's, it's a wonderful film also. The Abominable Dr. Fives. This is a Vincent Price film. Very good. Dog Day Afternoon. Absolutely brilliant film from Sidney Lumet. And, uh, this shelf's a bit high up for me. I mean, uh, that's the shelf's point of view. It's a bit annoying being short. My arms are going to get very tired soon, so I'm going to fly through these ones. Uh, Dog Day Afternoon. Fantastic film. Great opportunity performance, as I said. Deer Hunter. Great film with De Niro and, and Christopher Walken. Uh, the Exorcist. Halloween. These are all some of my favourite films. And I like this the cover on Halloween. You can see that. Kramer vs. Kramer. Very good uh, film for its time. It kind of shows a cultural movement of... Uh, showing the father figure instead of the mother as the, as the car of the child, which, you know, at the time was a, a pretty new Hollywood representation of uh, men and fathers and parenthood. The last picture show, for, last picture show from Peter Bogdanovich, he also directed Paper Moon. Great 70s film. The Last Detail, a lesser known kind of film, but Jack Nicholson is great in it. He's the fucking Shore Patrol, just everyone should know that, uh, from Hal Ashby. Lenny, another film from Bob Fosse, Dust Dustin Hoffman plays a famous, well-known uh, comedian, Lenny Bruce. Marathon Man, another Dustin Hoffman performance. I've actually seen every film Dustin Hoffman done in the 70s, which was great, and they're all great films, even straight time. That was the sound of Despicable Me 2 dropping, but I'll pick it up later. Martha Man, really great film, absolutely loved it. Very strange film here, Last Man We Fell the Earth. The Omen, The Poseidon Adventure. Uh, oh, The Poseidon Adventure was pretty good. Uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, one of my favourite musicals, an absolute guilty pleasure. Uh, two disc edition, I need the Omen on Blu-ray soon. Serpico, another great Al Pacino performance, and uh, that's a Sydney Lumet film. Suspiria, very surreal. A uh, unique horror film with a great soundtrack by Dario Argento. Theatre of Blood, one of my favourite campy horror films from Vincent Price. 
Young Frankenstein, one of the best comedies ever made. And The Wicker Man, the original. With Christopher Lee. Uh, rest in peace, Christopher Lee. He died recently. Um, that's it for my arm. My arm's right hard already, Jesus. Oof. But that's those ones. That's my 70s collection there. And then onwards we have just an A to Z here. So I'll go through those. There's actually numbered ones too. So you see the 101 Dalmatians, 127 hours, 500 days of summer, 25th hour, 9, the 7 up series, very unique series. I need to watch those properly, as you can see there. Um, Aladdin, Artificial Intelligence, the rest of the cats. You can read yourself, people, what's in there. The Act of Killing, can't stress enough, people need to see that film. It's completely disturbing. Uh, Ingles, Ingles in America from uh, Mike Nichols. It's a mini series HBO. Need to watch that one. I intend to watch it in one sitting, six hours. And that's what's up there. And that should technically be up where my TV is. TV section. I'll, I'll get into the TV once later too. Uh, moving down, we have box sets where I just haven't known where to put them. I've got Toy Story one and two sitting there. Um, it's a pretty cool edition actually. The pop up thing. Then we have the directors here. We've got uh, Christopher Nolan first with the Dark Knight films there. Batman Begins and Dark Knight, Inception, Insomnia, Dark Knight Rises, uh, Steelbook, Interstellar, Diggy Book, which is, you know, brilliant release. £20, well worth it. I'm trying to open it up for you. But yeah, yeah, absolutely love this edition. You know, I love the I love the artwork in the back and everything. It's just wonderful, wonderful sort of. I'll get that back in. Then we have Martin Scorsese. There. Martin Scorsese, Age of Innocence, haven't seen that yet. Age of Innocence, Casino, Cape Fear, Goodfellas, uh, Hugo, Taxi Driver, Gang of New York, Wall Street, Goodfellas on DVD, and Taxi Driver also on DVD. Then we have Raking Bull, Main Streets, Shutter Island. And you know, Main Streets is a 70 film game, so you'll just see all these 70 films that I own. Then we have Woody Allen, some more 70 films there. I've got everything you want to know about sex, but we're afraid to ask. Manhattan and Midnight in Paris, and then this twenty film box set, uh, Woody Allen box set. It's got so many films in there. Twenty, it's just fantastic, and it's got ev uh, everything you want to know about sex also, and uh, Manhattan. And it's got most. It's got a lot of his great films, a lot of his under uh, lesser known ones, uh, not as popular, but it does have a lot of name ones like Al uh, like Annie Hall and. Purple was a Cairo and Manhattan and everything you want to know about sex. And then Hannah and her sisters as well. So there's a lot of great films in that box set. Then we have a director who has, you know, just decreased in popularity since I... Hang on, I need to stop this. I couldn't get that box up again. As I was saying, Tim Burton, a director who I've come to not like as much as I used to, just because so many other directors are far greater. But his films do have a unique style and vision. And you can really tell what he's doing with his stories. And I, I, all, I always will love these two right here. That's directed by Henry Selick, but it was very much a Tim Burton film. And to say it's not is just absolutely silly. But you've got Edward Scissorhands, a wonderful film, and Sweeney Todd, Never for Christmas, and Ed Wood. Like all his great films, he just went very downhill after Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd was his last great film. <laughs> And you got Beetlejuice there as well. Also, Wonderland should be sitting there. It's it, it's over here actually. Yeah, it's up there. But uh, that's great. It's good having this little zoom actually. Uh, that's that's the Tim Burton films, and then we've got the rest of the A to Z DVDs. So let's go across here. You've got Annie, Bronx Tale, and Arms Perils. That's it. I really need to rewatch that one. Very gritty, dark film. Amadeus. Oh, I want to watch that again. Wish there was more time. Just looking at all these now, I'm just wanting to rewatch so much. Argo about Schmidt. I'm just going to go through them and I'll pick out a couple of titles that interest me. Uh, Beaches is one that I watched as when I was about probably about 12, 13, and I just cried my eyes at it. I don't know if I'd have the same effect if I watched it now, but it was a story of friendship, and I don't know, I just cried my eyes. It was just these, these two women. I, thought, I think that's one I need to watch again. It's got Bette Midler and. Uh, Barbara Hershey. Uh, that's one I need to see again. It was a very touching film. Black Swan. I still think Black Swan's a great movie. Uh, I, I did enjoy Curious Case of Benjamin Button, despite how sentimental it is. Uh, Castaway was a really great film too. 
And then down here we've got more. We've got B. Got our Tunnel Sun Channel, the Spotless Mine. One of the, the finest, uh, one of the finest performances from Jim Carrey. Dogville, the absolutely most minimalist film I've ever seen, probably. One of at least. Um, it's an incredible film. It's just breathtaking and, you know, completely spellbending and engaging. Just, it's very avant-garde. Dirty Dancing, um, Oh, keep in mind, by the way, some of these aren't actually mine. Lots of them are gifts, like Dirty Dancing. I have watched that, and I know it's quite a clean film. And I do like, it's not really a musical, to be honest. It's not a musical. It has music in it, famous music. I didn't really enjoy it at all. I didn't find it that romantic. I just found it kind of cheesy and uninteresting. I wasn't captivated at all by the characters whenever I watched it. Dead Poets Society, great performance from Robin Williams, of course. And this is a really great coming of age film. And it has a lot to say about, um, you know, coming to big. Uh, not to get into it in too, too much depth. Das Boot, brilliant film again. Elephant Man, one of the most powerful films by David Lynch. Um, it is quite surreal at times, but it's amazing how poignant the mind is to be, David Lynch. You know, I think he should return to making films like that. Um, Takashi Kitano film there. A couple of Asian films here. Ichi the Killer. In the mood for love. Ginger Snaps. Ginger Snaps is a brilliant horror film, so it is. Um, it is popular, but I think it, it deserves more attention. It's it's very. It's just. Wow, I was I was really impressed with the visuals, but the story and the characters just really love the style and everything of it. So Davis really enjoyed that one of Coen Brothers' best. Okay, and then down here the order is a bit strange. I have it going up the way. Um, so like N and then up the R and then R up the S and the reason I have done that is because if you have them all this is this is a you know you can see they all have sections this is all one big one and if you did have them all lined up um, you know once you take one out they'll all just fall down so there's really no point so I done it this way and that means that I can just you know, put it in there and then take that there and so on and it looks a bit strange but it works for me so starting down here you've got L moving up to R and there's more over there. The Dolce Vita, Magnolia, have that in Blu-ray too. Public Enemies, yep. Pianist, I mean, oh, there's just so many films, I'd love to talk about them all, but this video is already gonna be so long. Um, Rescue Dawn, Sherlock Holmes, Samurai Rebellion, Sicko, Still Walking. Sound of Music, which is, this is also a Blu-ray, also it's one of the few Blu-rays that I know that's actually in the free DVD case. Streetcar Named Desire, fantastic Marlon Brando film. The Third Man, Great Noir, featuring Orson Welles. People keep calling it an Orson Welles film, but it's not. Uh, the Trial, now that's an Orson Welles film. Train Spotting, Chainsaw Massacre. Hey, that's a 70s film, that should be up there. I'll have to move that. B for Vendetta, it's sitting upside down. OCD, uh, Wizard of Oz, Wreck It Ralph. Me for Roger Rabbit, I love this film, I really, really do. It's just great, frantic, kind of fun movie, really is. I love it. Wally's great too, and Why to Mama Tambien, uh, Latin American Spanish film. Then The Godfather trilogy, which I should really own on Blu ray at this point, and the four Monty Python films. So that's the DVD collection, and there are still more DVDs and Blu rays to go with the event over here. And all these ones there so yeah i think this is a good place to break up the video and i'll put a link here i'll be put both videos up at the same time just in case someone actually does just want to watch the rest of it so i'll put the link it'll pop up here okay the link will be there for you to go check out the next video which will be looking into my blu-rays and there's still more dvds to check out but i'll go into my dvd box sets and blu-rays i'll still have my tv box sets as well and the next video will probably be a bit longer so thanks for watching this one hope you enjoy the next one and I haven't given the tallies out yet, it'll be in part two, so that maybe will encourage some people to watch the next one. So, that's it then, let's get on to part two.